More than 500 years ago, clans of dwarves and gnomes made an agreement known as the Fandelver's Pact, by which they would share a rich mine in a wondrous cavern known as Wave Echo Cave. In addition to its mineral wealth, the mine contained great magical power. Human spellcasters allied themselves with the dwarves and gnomes to channel and bind that energy into a great forge called the Forge of Spells, where magic items could be crafted. Times were good and the nearby human town of Fandalin prospered as well. But then disaster struck when orcs swept through the north and laid waste to all in their path. A powerful force of orcs reinforced by evil mercenary wizards attacked Wave Echo Cave to seize its riches and magic treasures. Human wizards fought alongside their dwarf and gnome allies to defend the Forge of Spells and the ensuing spell battle destroyed much of the cavern. Few survived the cave-ins and tremors, and the location of Wave Echo Cave was lost. For centuries, rumors of buried riches have attracted treasure seekers and opportunists to the area around Fandalen, but no one has ever succeeded in locating the lost mine. In, in recent years, people have resettled the area. Fandalen is now a rough and tumble frontier town. More important, the Rockseeker brothers, a trio of dwarves, have discovered the entrance to Wave Echo Cave, and they intend to reopen the mines. Unfortunately for the Rockseekers, they are not the only ones interested in Wave Echo Cave. A mysterious villain known as the Black Spider controls a network of bandit gangs and goblin tribes in the area, and his agents have followed the Rockseekers to their prize. Now the Black Spider wants Wave Echo Cave for himself, and is taking steps to make sure that no one else knows where it is. The world of the Forgotten Realms is where the story in this adventure takes place. In the realms, knights dare the crypts of the fallen dwarf kings of Belzoon, seeking glory and treasure. Rogues prowl the dark alleyways of teeming cities such as Neverwinter and Baldur's Gate. Clerics in the service of gods wield mason spell, questing against the terrifying powers that threaten the land. Wizards plunder the ruins of the fallen Netherese Empire, delving into secrets too dark for the light of day. Dragons, giants, demons, and unimaginable abominations lurk in dungeons, caverns, ruined cities, and the vast, wild places of the world. On the roads and rivers of the realms travel minstrels and peddlers, merchants and guards, Soldiers, sailors, and steel-hearted adventurers carrying tales of strange, glorious, faraway places. Good maps and clear trails can take even an inexperienced youth with dreams of glory far across the world. Thousands of restless would-be heroes from backcountry farmsteads and sleepy villages arrive in Neverwinter and other great cities every year in search of wealth and renown. Known roads may be well-traveled but they aren't necessarily safe. Fell magic, deadly monsters, and cruel local rulers are all perils that you face when you travel in the Forgotten Realms. Even farms and freeholds within a day's walk of a city can fall prey to monsters, and no place is safe from the sudden wrath of a dragon. The regional map shows just a tiny part of this vast world in a region called the Sword Coast. This is a region of adventure, where daring souls delve into the wreckage of ancient strongholds and explore ruins of long-lost cultures. Amid a wilderness of jagged snow-capped peaks, alpine forests, lawlessness, and monsters, the coast holds the greatest bastions of civilizations, including the coastal city of Neverwinter.